faith comment by hearing and it's released by speaking for the word of god is quick powerful creative constructive and life-changing the word of god you're about to hear is from the staple of god's will media network get ready for a life-changing encounter with god's word to this in the case of your conscience that it will keep talking to you the holy spirit is not like that once it gives you an instruction it is so sensitive once it gives an instruction you violate it you are off track are you hearing what i'm saying you are off track that that's why it's very easy for a christian to miss it he doesn't want you to travel and you travel you are already off track you may not return from that journey alive that's why many of you used to wonder that ah, how did a, a, a child of God like that? No. He's been warned by the Holy Spirit. But the only difference is that his own warning since you are saved, you are born again, there is no way you can deny that he did not rebuke you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is no way you can deny. I remember several years ago and uh, you know my wife was pregnant there and uh, i was to travel to ibado i've already got into the park and i entered the car sat down then it was as if something carried me and threw me out of the car i was still there but that was the experience it's as if something carried me and threw me out of the car and I know that is not an ordinary. That's the Holy Ghost telling me you cannot go for this journey. He didn't tell me we have an accident. He didn't show me anything like that. But I had the feeling strong in my spirit, not physically. Because when we say feeling, some of you hear me feeling. The feeling is not in your body. The ones you feel in your body, most of when you say that, when Pastor lays on me, my body did grrr, and uh, that's not the Holy Spirit. Though. <laughs> most of the time, it's all the incubi and sakubi that is in your system that is being chased out, that is making you feel like uh, uh, say, I felt an electric shock. Grrr, Holy Ghost. Uh, the, the electric shock can be the presence of a demon. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't, you see, manifestation cannot be the rhythm to which you, you measure the presence of the Holy Spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because it, it connects your spirit, not your body. The effect can be felt on your body, but the origin of it is what we need to check. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you don't know him by your body feeling. You know him by the Spirit of God and the Word of God. Are you getting understanding? So I jumped out of the vehicle and uh, Immediately I came out of the vehicle. I had peace. So it was clear. It was clear. It's a righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That is the kingdom of God. Righteousness, meaning that right standing, a right relationship. And a right relationship does not really mean that you... You see, some of us think that we have right relationship with God because we are obeying the laws. We are obeying the commandment that we could see with our eyes. I have taught us several times that there are two dimensions to that. We have what we call the general will of God that is a, a stipulated instruction for every child of God to obey. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Then after that level, you, you have what we call your personal relationship with God, which is personal unique to you alone this is where god speaks to you as a person and he gives you information that is not even available to other person is somebody getting understanding so that second level is more important to god than the first one as far as your own case is concerned you are not saved yet because you keep the commandment for instance you don't fornicate good general commandment but it's been warning you against anger. And your anger is not the one that people used to know. But it is between you and God. It is God that knows that you were angry at a particular thing. And when you got home, you did some things. Nobody was there. And the Holy Spirit will tell you what you did yesterday. You know, I will deal with you over it. 
Nobody will know. Then you come to church and God begins to hit your head on the floor. And people will be wondering that this is time who doesn't used to talk. What kind of, what are we seeing today? He, oh no, my guy, you know, oh, Holy Ghost, you. Then people can take care easy with anybody. It's a just God. When you are messing up in those, <laughs> when you are watching what you are not supposed to watch on the phone, he's the one that is there. He's been telling you that this thing, you are, you are, you are arguing with him. And she be is just so scared. Am I the one who put it on her, this thing? And she's dancing and I'm looking at it. It's, it came to, to my phone now. And my phone is neutral. His Bible that I feel everywhere. He's, he's telling you this one. This one. Yeah, I don't want it. You, you are telling him that you have five kinds of Bible on your phone. Is that a justification for that little virus? So that little virus now is having, the Holy Spirit is having issues with it. And it's going to deal with you on that subject. Do you understand what I'm saying? So th- that is why your fellowship with him is more important to him than the general commandment that you obey. That's why you see people have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. They didn't know so much of the Bible and they are still more correct than people who used to quote every Bible. Have you, have you seen that before? You see some people, they know all the Bible. But they don't have a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Who wrote the Bible? <laughs> I remember that I knew so many things by the intuition of the Holy Spirit. Not when I read it from the scripture. It was years later that I discovered that yielding to the Holy Spirit is the best way to obey this Bible. Because he may not quote it, he will lead you aright. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won't quote it that this thing is all. That's why I left the issue of dressing or no dressing. You know, I don't talk about it again. I discovered that there's no way you, you are turning somebody to God deals with issues in, 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 in a more profound way. For instance, we, we wanted to do evangelism this year. I told you. We are led to go and uh, to gym. And you know, ideally, <laughs> we have issues with that. Some years ago, if you tell me that I'll deal with you, I'll tell you, what, do you, what are you going there to do? But I have to go there now with my wife. You see, you see you have to be like them to get them. All right, we got, we got there. They thought we came to do exercise, but we came for something different. But after a while, we turned the exercise into, now I can't go and pray in Futa freely again now. They've known me. I'm looking for another. <laughs> I'm looking for another region. Because once I start praying, you start seeing some of the people I've spoken with. And you, you understand what I'm talking about? So, your conscience is the witness that confirms to you if you are right or wrong. And when you continue to sin, it dies. That is for an unbeliever. But for a believer, it's not that he, the conscience dies in him. No. The Holy Spirit comes to take over his own conscience. Have I answered the question? The Holy Spirit comes to do what? Take over his own conscience. Because your conscience does not lead you. He only tells you what you are doing, if it's right or wrong. But when you are redeemed and saved, the Holy Spirit begins to lead your life. Why? Because you have fellowship with God. You have submitted your life to God. So the driver of your destiny now is no longer you, but the Holy Ghost. That is why the scripture says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons and daughters of God. So, when you remove his leading from your life, you are no longer his child. I repeat, when you remove his leading from your life, you are no longer his child. The message you just listened to is from the staples of God's Will Pentecostal Interdenominational Ministries. We hope you've been blessed richly. To get more messages such as this, connect with us on social media. God's Will Pentecostal Interdenominational Ministries on Facebook. God's Will Pentecostal Interdenominational on YouTube.
We are located at number one Total Deliverance Cathedral, Aule Bus Stop, off Elisha Garage, Akure Odo State. Thank you for listening. God bless you.